So hello and welcome to the Hornby Magazine Workshop. Today you join us as we've been sent three of Hornby's brand new Gangway Bogey luggage vans. Mike, what have we got? Right, so uh, well, Hornby's had a bit of a, a run on producing Southern Railway themed running stock, uh, and these are the latest additions to go with that kind of running stock. So it started with the, the Maudsell Corridor stock in uh, well, about 10 years ago now, uh, and they've produced consistently different vehicles to go with that throughout since. So we've seen the uh, Van C, which is a four wheel version of a parcels van from the Maudsell range. We've also seen the Van B, which is a bogey version, which looks similar to this, but it has one significant defining feature that's different. These ones have got gangways on the end, and they're also built for slightly different purposes as well. These were really designed as luggage vans first and foremost. So designed to operate with boat trains and things, but they were also found in parcels and newspaper traffic as well. So we've got three liveries in front of us. We've got the BR, the Southern Railways, and the one I know of, which is the one that carried Sir Winston Churchill on his funeral. That's right, yeah. Uh, for, uh, that's part of the funeral, funeral yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'll, I'll start with that one first, actually. I mean, that we've, we've set up a representation, but it is not an accurate representation, of Sir Winston Churchill's funeral train here. Uh, we've got uh, 34051 Sir Winston Churchill, the Bully Pacific, that did haul that train. Uh, and then I put a representative selection of four Pullman cars with the hearse uh, as well. So that the, the, the gangway bogey luggage van was used as the hearse vehicle to transport Sir Winston Churchill. Uh, and then, like I say, it had these Pullman cars either side as well. Uh, that was in January 1965 that took place. Uh, it basically gave, I suppose really, fame to the gangway bogey luggage van at the same time as giving fame to 34051 which carried his name on the side as well. And of course you can see that at Shildon. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Museum. I yeah. believe the locomotive is there as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 I, I'm presuming parked together. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, so yeah, both of those are preserved as part of the National Collection uh, and uh, well, it's a very unique livery for a Gangway Bogies luggage van, which would otherwise have been Southern Railway Olive Green or BR Crimson. Those are basically the only other two liveries they really carried. So in terms of a model, what's different about these three? Uh, between each one, well, there's, there's, there's differences in the tooling for these vehicles. So um, as built, uh, there's lots of different diagram numbers. And actually, we've got a review from Graham Muspratt, the latest issue of Hornby Magazine, which does go through all the details of those different diagram numbers and when they were built as well. Um, so originally, they were built without drop lights in the centre doors, which is as represented by the Southern Railway livery model on that side. And then in later life, uh, quite a few of them were taken into uh, war department stock as well. And they're modified as ambulance cars during, I think, the Second World War. Um, and again, Graham's review will correct me if I'm wrong with that. Um, but they had then had drop lights windows put into those centre doors. So if you look at the crimson one, it's got an extra set of windows in the middle doors. Uh, so significant tooling differences between the two vehicles there. Um, so Winston Churchill's funeral van is one of the ones which was modified as well. Uh, so that's got drop light windows in the centre doors too. So these models have been sent into Hummy Magazine for, for us to cast our gaze and cast our opinion on them and review them. So Mike, what do we think so far? Well. I think they're, they're really nice looking vans actually. I mean, I've, I've always wanted to add one of these to the collection. Uh, Hornby used to do an old version of it, which was originally produced by Triang, um, but it was, well, it, I don't think it was quite dimensionally accurate in a number of areas. Um, it certainly didn't have the revisions between the different areas of the vehicles either. Uh, that was in the range for quite a long time actually. Uh, so it's nice to see that actually Hornby's gone back and completely redone this from scratch. So you've got a modern standard model now to match like the Mournsall corridor stock and the non corridor stock. Uh, so you get with that, you get turned metal wheels. You get uh, turn metal buffers as well. Uh, you also get uh, NEM coupling pockets with small tension locks fitted. Uh, and you get all the exceptional detail you'd expect from a current uh, Hornby production as well. So Mike, what kind of prices are these luggage vans set at? Okay, so there's two different prices for these vehicles. The, the Southern Railway and the BR Crimson ones are priced at £36.99 each. And the Winston Churchill funeral van is slightly more, it's £40.99 for that one. So I've got to play devil's advocate. Why is it more? I, I think it's because it's a special edition and I think it's also part of the national collection uh, range that's all yeah. as well. Um, so it, it is a special vehicle, it, you know, it's got quite a unique place in the market. Um, you know, it, it's generally nicely presented. We did notice a little bit of a, a the lining's not quite perfect at one end of our van on each side, uh, but other than that, it's, it does look very good. So. so they're very nice models. They are, yeah. I mean, I think the, the BR Crimson one looks great. Um, very simple livery at the end of the day. It's, it's crimson with some straw livery uh, numbers on the end of it. Um, and the Southern Railway one again, again, there's nice detail differences there. It's got the lighter grey roof on it. It's got the right kind of colour of body side to it as well. Southern Railway logos at the top. Um, so yeah, I think they've done a good job overall in the presentation of these. Well, like I say, some of the livery is very simple. The lining on the, I mean, actually to be fair, with the lining on the um, Swinston Church one, it's quite a tricky van to line because you've got all these different levels of moulding to go around. You've got doors that stand proud, you've got um, support straps for the framework that stand proud and things as well, so it 
tricky, but you know, a little bit disappointing to see that that's not got perfect lining on there. So it's now it's time. I think we uh, put these to the test on top of the Dell. We've got the, the Pullman train formed up here behind Sir Winston Church. I'm sure we can put a parcels train to go with the uh, BR Crimson one there as well. And uh, don't forget as well, you can read our full review from Graham Muspratt in the latest issue of Hornby Magazine. That's issue 169, which is on sale from June the 3rd, which goes into all the detail about those different diagram numbers and liveries and the information about these vehicles as well. So as ever, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.